Welcome back to Next Gen Investing. It's now time for FOMO. And today we are talking a nice move to the upside in Alphabet shares on this new quantum computing chip known as Willow, which is a great name, a memorable one at that, and easy to pronounce. So I always appreciate that from these companies. But I do think that the, so first we, we saw this news actually late Monday evening. So when we saw this name open as one of the best performers in the S&P 500, I was like, what is driving this upside? But I do think it definitely has to be tied to this quantum chip unveiling. I mean, because the overall market really isn't aiding Alphabet at all here today. Yeah, so this is something that, that stuck out to me when I was uh, reading. I'm just going to read it. This is from a Bloomberg article. The company's quantum computer needs just five minutes to solve a problem that would take supercomputers around 10 septillion years, the company announced. What is, I don't even know what septillion is, but obviously that's a long, long, long time. Quantum computing is so unfathomable, and the fact that they're making breakthroughs here, but we don't really know what we're learning yet. What are we working on with this stuff? So clearly there's power to this, but I'm just excited to see, you know, what's going to happen. And like, think about how much the world has changed in the last 15, 20, 25 years. What are the next 25 years going to look like? Okay, and I saw that same 10 septillion years is the comparison of what this this can do in five minutes. But I guess what process are we doing that would possibly even take t that time? I mean, frame? it's got to be some super complex math problem, right? Uh, I mean, right. I'm just assuming. I mean, obviously, that's kind of how computers work, right? They're, for the most part, they're just solving, you know, numbers-oriented things, typically. But the fact that it can do something that, you know, efficiently what would take a computer that long, a regular supercomputer, goes to show that there is great power here. And just then, what are, you, what are we doing with it and what are, what's going to happen? I think there's a lot of uh, you know, interesting things to, to consider, but uh, obviously Alphabet, with this breakthrough, is being rewarded by the market. I think that makes a, a ton of sense. 5% rally in a company this size is massive in terms of market cap. So just to do some quick, you know, back of the, the, the hand math here, 12 billion shares outstanding. Let's round here a little bit and say it's a $10 move higher. I know it's a little bit less than that. $120 billion in just, just this headline. I know earlier today, I believe when we were up just slightly higher, I was looking at like, yeah, 130, $140 billion in, in one session, which is just ridiculous. And to speak to this blog post, Google did say that Willow will be achieving this, exp or has achieved now this exponential reduction in error rates as the number of quibits increased, which marked them this major milestone. And I think the 10 septillion point is so great. They did also say the mind boggling number exceeds what the time scales in physics and vast exceeds the age of the universe. So, I mean, all of this is definitely things you want to hear. They did say the next challenge for the field is to demonstrate a first useful beyond classic comp computation on today's quantum chips that's relevant relevant to real world applications. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess that was sort of my skepticism is what even need do we have for this? But I mean, I guess you could say that with pretty much anything that now exists at one point, there was probably those that were like, why will we need this? But still definitely showing, I mean, this is part of the, their their overall AI initiative, I think definitely showing that they're continuing to push and continuing to spend all that cash on something. Yeah, they're in this world of theoretical math with some of this that mm. is so complex and impossible to comprehend that it's like, yeah, at this point, it's like, it's very cool, you can do it, but let's use real world application. I mean, we operate in, you know, a three dimensional world through time. So maybe you could argue, you know, four, do we really need to be into these infinite dimensions and things? It's, it's quite complex, but to put the, the number in perspective, I love to do this. Let's say it's a $110 billion, you know, market cap move in, in real time, something around that. That's essentially Starbucks. So all the value of Starbucks just in this, in this headline, essentially. And I love to use Starbucks because it's on like every corner in every urban uh, center. So I think we all agree, Starbucks, very successful business, worth a lot, tremendous scale. Well, a headline about a quantum chip was just essentially worth the same thing uh, overnight. And that is such a great perspective, too, especially because I, I know that we give a lot of credit to the NVIDIAs, the Apple, some of these largest names. I, I feel like oftentimes it's even forgotten how massive Alphabet really is. This is just one portion of their AI story, one portion of the AI story that is such a larger, I mean, company, frankly. This company does 
almost everything as far as tech is concerned right now and has executed it very well. And so nice move today. A lot of these major names are seeing some pretty nice upside. But with Alphabet shares, we're up 32 and some change percent on the year. We've rallied about 9 percent since the start of December. So definitely catching a nice bid in the Santa Claus rally and avoiding some of the semiconductor woes we're seeing today. One real quick, too, not to, to cut you off, but weren't we thinking about uh, how this was going to be so negative that they're going to have to sell Google Chrome? Did we forget about that? Is all that, that risk is gone now? I don't remember all of like the, the, the DOJ. We're going to have to break up the search engine. I think that's still actually something of concern. But I mean, this but it's not going to be for free. And that's what I that was my argument right away is like, even if this happens, mm -hmm. it, I'm failing to understand how it's going to be net negative. Like at some point, shareholders are going to be compensated for that value. And uh, it goes to show that in time, some of those scary headlines kind of ease and investors go in and see opportunity. And that's certainly been the case uh, for those who were willing to step in and buy that dip just a few weeks ago. I totally agreed. I, I was reading nothing but, but bullish praise today on the matter. What Bush is Dan Ives said the street does view any potential this, this regulation or breakup as more of a risk that's diminished with views that the FTC could see a leadership change and then we'll see this entire thing go, maybe go away. So that's a whole separate issue entirely. But the street doesn't seem, at least today, to be giving that, that much credence. We're focused on what we do know, and that's the advancement of these quantum chips. Although I have to do far more research into quantum chips now. I'm okay in the AI world. I need to understand more about septillion and what those calculations look like. But when we trade this name, I mean, leaning into optimism, I think that the FOMO feeling in this name for quite some time has been to the upside, maybe not to the extent in which some of these like metas, I mean, Teslas, these names that are super volatile, make huge moves. But to see a name that's been able to hang in there despite the overall, I mean, the uncertainty in this market, I think is still something I'm commendable. No, no doubt about it. And looking at an example trade, if you think there's more upside to be had, I looked at a 190 call calendar selling next Friday's December 20th call, buying the Jan 3 190 call. So kind of looking for that move to 190 by the end of next week, but at the very least by the end of the year with that Jan 3rd representing sort of the end of the year. Dollar debit means 100 bucks in risk, so risk defined. Uh, it is one, though, where you're throwing that dart, as we like to say, Jenny, so you really aren't just looking for uh, a general move higher. You're kind of looking for a move to 190, which I thought was pretty close to that all-time high that we had set uh, you know, just uh, a couple months back uh, in July. And then final thought, too, uh, I saw a concern, perhaps, that these type of computers could break Bitcoin's encryption. So that'll be a new uh, thing to think about going down the road. Oh, no. And the, the world that we, which we're losing regulation, at least what's expected, I can only imagine what that entire situation looks like. And that's we will not get too much into that because that will be an entire mess that we'll probably be talking about later on on the, the show. But we'll leave it there for FOMO today.